Hello, sports fans and football fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, and today we are here with the last game of the 2023 season replay for the Chicago Bears. Now, I'm uh, giving you a look at the standings as they are right now going into the last game of the season, and you can see the Chicago Bears are exactly, they have exactly the record that they would have had at this point um, at 16 games going into the 17th game. They have three wins. They finished the 2023 season in real life with three wins. So if I don't win this game that they have today, and we'll look at the schedule, you can see that we are playing at home against the Minnesota Vikings. If we don't beat the Vikings we will finish with the exact record that we had. And if you look at these teams, I'm not going to go over the records and compare them to the real records. I mean, Buffalo's doing a little worse than they actually finished. They're 10-5 and five right now. But if you look at these teams, if you go down this list and you look at these teams' records, you would see that most of them are just about really what they actually did um, in 2023. Um Obviously, you know, if Philadelphia is doing a little worse, they're a game or two worse than they really were. Um, but by and large, these teams are got roughly the same records overall that they had in 2023. So the only difference with um, Chicago is that we've won games that we didn't actually win. Like we beat Miami, but we didn't really beat Miami. Still, we only had three wins total. I can eclipse that by beating Minnesota right now, uh, but we don't know if that's going to happen or not. So uh, we will get into that, and we will start the games. Let the games begin. So uh, you can see, yes, we are set to manual, so we will play one week. We will have the week go in. So I thought I thought this is uh, this is pretty interesting. I mean, because I'm playing like on the with the least um, whatever you would say the least advanced rules uh, that the game allows the um, gameplay with uh, on the computer. So. Um, for instance, I'm playing the defenses as the de you know the defenses average against run, uh, average against pass, whatever, um, as a defense. But you can play like a little more advanced where you'll get like a um, uh, where you you've got individual players doing their individual things on the uh, on each play. So anyway, uh, here we are. We are going to launch the game. And uh, I guess we're kicking off. We're kicking off to the Minnesota Vikings. And so we'll see what we can do in this game. I will, of course, try to win it because um, I'm not playing for a draft pick. So, like the real Bears were. Um, hmm. Okay, so we'll go over the Minnesota offense. You have... Um, you have flanker Adam Thalen on the front line. You have the right tackle Brian O'Neill. You have the right guard Ed Ingram. At center you have Garrett Bradbury. Left guard you have Ezra Cleveland. Left tackle you have Christian Derisaw. You got Justin Jefferson out there at um, um, out at split end. You have uh, the third wide receiver, K.J. Osborne. At quarterback, of course, you have Kirk Cousins. And then the running backs are fullback C.J. Ham and Delvin Cook. Defensively, the Bears will line up with left end Travis Gibson, left tackle Justin Jones, right tackle Armand Watts, right end Dominique Robinson, uh, left uh, linebacker Nicholas Morrow, middle linebacker Jack Sanborn, right linebacker Joe Thomas, um, cornerback Kyler Gordon, free safety Eddie Jackson, um, 
Jalen Johnson out at cornerback and uh, safety Wakan Brisker or Jaquan Brisker. And that's the Bears' defense. So um, I am going to go with the 4-3 that they recommend. I'm going to start out looking for the run. They have two running backs, so I figured yes, and we stopped them quickly. Delvin Cook, we stopped quickly. Now they do, and they have Delvin. It's like it's, you know, it's not like they don't have Delvin Cook. So uh, they got a second down. I'm going to go with the run again. I just have a feeling they're going to run it again. Now they were off. They uh, probably it was them that was offside. In fact, I might even turn this down if they give me the chance to. And it is on the... Well, let's see. No, it was on us. So we were offsides. It's first and 10 for them at the 40. Now I'm going to look pass. I think now they're going to come out with a pass. No, they run it still. But we do get them pretty quickly. Maybe two yards. Three. They got three yards on that. Uh, let's... It, they're not going to run again, so I'm going to pass. I'm going to look for the pass, and they are passing. Kirk Gip, or Kirk uh, Cousins, not Kirk Gibson. Kirk Gibson was a great baseball player, but not very good at football. Although he might have been. Actually, he might have been. But anyway, uh, they, Kirk Cousins completes that pass and gets good yards for Minnesota. I am going to look for the run again. No, he's passing again. With this Bears defense, I really can't afford to be wrong. But Kirk, I was wrong, and Kirk uh, Cousins couldn't complete the pass. So they have a second and 10 from our 37. I'm going to look pass again. They'll probably run. Whoa, what was that? There was a penalty. Offsides being called against Minnesota. So, yeah, nice. So they've got a second and 15. I am going to... I'm. You know what? I'm going to look for the run. I think they're going to run the ball. No, they're passing. But it's going to be wildly incomplete. That's really weird for Kirk Cousins. But anyway, so now they've got a, a third and 15. Definitely looking pass. And they run it right up the middle. And we do stop them a yard short of the first down. So what are they going to decide to do here? They got 14 of the 15 yards. I can see them going for it, though. No, they're going to kick it. So I will put in the kick block for all the good it'll do me. Uh, but they do get the uh, field goal, and they take a 3 nothing. lead. I'm surprised they didn't go for it. I really am. I mean, I would have gone for it, but then again, I only have three wins on the season. I'm not going to the playoffs. So, um, yeah. We are going to receive the kickoff. 11.47 left in the first quarter, and we're down 3 nothing on Minnesota's opening drive, which was helped by a penalty by us. Um, so, we've got Nathan Peterman in there? All right. You know, I'm just going to go with what they got. Anyway, our offense is split end Equinamius St. Brown, uh, Byron Pringle at uh, third wide receiver. Front line is left tackle Braxton Jones. Left guard is Cody Whitehair. Uh, Sam Mustafir is the center. Right guard is Tavan Jenkins. Right tackle is Riley Reif. We've got Cole Komet out there at tight end. Darnell Mooney at flanker. Nathan Peterman at quarterback. And David Montgomery at halfback. So I guess we should start with an off tackle with the halfback because Peterman is not good. And he gets nothing. He gets a whole lot of nothing right there. Now, I'm wondering, and I'm going to go back and look historically, although I, um, let's see, I, uh, I don't know, but it may be that Peterman actually played the last game of the season. 
Uh, and that's why they're putting Peterman in. But there's a completed pass to almost a first down, but not quite. Peterman, nice. And it, at least I can say this about Peterman. Maybe he can complete flat passes and, and uh, look-ins because Fields sh certainly can't. We're going to go with that, and then we're going to go line buck with Montgomery. And he gets the first down and some more. We've got the first down. So, um, let's go with a short pass. I mean, he completed, a, you know, let's go short to the flanker. He completed a, a flat pass or a look-in. Yes, baby, Peterman. Peterman, man, I may not take him out. I mean, I was thinking of taking him out and putting in fields, but really, as long as he can complete this kind of stuff and keep us moving, why not? So let's go off tackle with Montgomery again. And he's going to get some serious yards. Certainly close enough that we could go for a first down if we uh, get the fourth down. We um, And uh, we only still have to get this many yards. Let's go line buck with Montgomery. He gets a first down. We didn't even have to play with the fourth down. So we... Um, Let's see what we got here, what our situation is. Our situation is a first and 10 at the Minnesota 34. Let's launch one. I mean, what the heck? Let's see what Peterman's got in that basket. Oh, he inter he's intercepted pick six. No, I don't know. No, not a pick six, but he was intercepted. All right, I, 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 put, a little, I put a little too much faith in, in Nathan Peterman, I think. So uh, they've got a first and 10 at our 44. Let's put in the linebacker blitz. I mean, I can mess around here, you know. It's not like we're going anywhere. So they got some yards there. They got like six yards, I think. Five yards. They got five. They've got a second and five coming up. Um, I'm going to put in the balanced on second and five. And we're going to get him in the backfield on the balanced. So he's going to lose a yard, so now they've got a third and six. Third and six, if we could stop them here, they might punt. Definitely going to put in the pass. And he is passing. But it's going to be complete for a lot of yards. It's, it's funny how I can guess run and, he's in, and he'll throw an incompletion. But if I guess pass... He completes it for a lot of yards. So there is a first and 10 now for them at the 23. I'm going to put in the pass. We're going to guess pass. And they run it right up the middle, and it's going to be for big, big, big yards. Got themselves 15 on that. So you can see so far, Cook on the day has seven rushes for 36 yards. And I am going to put in the balanced. And the balanced seems to do pretty well. They got two or three there, maybe? Four. They got four. Second and six at the four. I'm going to put in the run. And he does run it, but he runs it right up the gut for a touchdown. So that gives uh, Minnesota the good 10 nothing lead. And it is a good one. We are going to put in the kick block. And we've got a kickoff coming. And at some point, I may actually skip ahead in the game to some other point in the game. It'll make the video shorter, and uh, and it'll, you know, um, stop putting you through the, uh, the uh, agony of watching the Bears play. We've got a flat pass to the flanker is what we're going to do here with Peterman. 
And he, he completes it. Those those short passes, he's pretty good at that. We're down 10 nothing. I mean, we're still in the game. Um, I am going to go line buck with Montgomery. And he does get stopped quickly, but he gets maybe a couple yards. Yes, he does. So we've got a third and three. And I'm going to go line buck with Montgomery, thinking that, hey, we got another down. He got a yard. Yes, he did get a yard. So we have a fourth and two, and I'm going to go for it. That's right, I'm going for it. We're going to put in the uh, pro set, and I am going to put in a flat pass to commit. Oh, it's incomplete. It was <laughs> it was a little risky, I got to admit. It was a little risky. Um, so we are, there's 242 still left in the first quarter. Uh, I'm going to put in the pass. And they are passing, and they're not stopping the play, so it's probably on us. It's incomplete, but that was the penalty was probably on us. Yeah, and they accepted it. Shocker. So they have a first and 10 at the 28. I'm going to put in the pass defense. And, uh, whoa, that was a sweet pass. We didn't see that one coming. So uh, Cousins completes the pass. And uh, we're gonna we're gonna put in the run. That is gonna be incomplete. Cousins can't complete that. I'm gonna look in. I'm gonna put in the run again. Maybe run and key. Uh, oh no! You know what? I'm gonna put in the pass because they aren't gonna run it with either of those two guys. So they are passing, and we can't stop them. In fact, you know what? We, we've got the first quarter running down here. If they score a touchdown here, um, I may just skip ahead to the start of the fourth quarter because uh, I wouldn't. There we go. There's that touchdown. It's 17 nothing. Uh, because I know people aren't going to sit and watch the last game of the season where we're losing 17 nothing to a much better Vikings team. Um, let me go to the kick block. Let me go to that kick block. And we almost did block it, but there is a penalty on the play, on the kick. So let's see what we've got here. Um, I'm going to accept the penalty and make him kick from further back and maybe he doesn't make it but he does so Joseph is two for two and there's 51 seconds left in the first quarter we're down 17 nothing after one quarter. Plus, when you skip ahead, it's kind of interesting to see how the game developed while you were... Um, uh, let's see here. Let's go look-in pass to St. Brown. It's completed. That Peterman, man, you cannot stop Peterman, although he did throw an interception. So let's see what he is on the day. He is 4 of 6 for 32 yards and an interception. And uh, let's go short pass to the split end. And that is going to be completed for a first down. I will see this drive out and see what happens on this drive, and then I'm going to fast forward after that to the fourth quarter. So be sure to stay tuned. Do not 
do not click away from this video because we will see what happens uh, after this drive, however it ends. We will see what happens when we go to the start of the fourth quarter, which I believe I can fast forward to. That was an incompletion, so Peterman had an incompletion there. Uh, let's go off tackle with Herbert. Herbert's not bad. He's not bad. And he gets a few yards. So with second and ten, it's going to be third and seven. We have a third and seven at the Chicago 42. I am going to go look in pass. Let's go look in pass to Montgomery. And he doesn't make it, but I am going to try to go for it because we are close. And, you know, we are 3 and 13. We got a fourth and two at the 47. I am not punting, Mr. Computer. We are going to go flat pass to the tight end again, Komet. This time, hopefully, he catches it. There is a flag on the play, though. And they let us play, and Komet got a nice gain there. The quick out right got 13 yards. Let's see if the penalty was on them. If it is, I'll decline it. I am going to decline the penalty. Even though we would have gotten maybe better yardage off of it. So we're going to go flat pass to Pringle. Man, Peterman, you can't stop them on these short paths, although they did just right there. Peterman is 7 of 11 today for 59 yards and an interception. Let's go short to St. Brown. And that's incomplete, so we're going to have a third and ten. Now you know you have to pass. And from the 40, I'm not trying to kick a field goal. That ain't going to happen. we got to get closer than that. Um, let's, go, let's go flat to Montgomery. Oh, it's intercepted again! <laughs> this one might be a pick six. Oh, my God, look at that. No, no, we'll probably get him at, like, the one. No, we didn't. It, it's a touchdown. It is for sure a touchdown. So we are for sure going to fast forward to the, after the extra point, we are going to fast forward to the start of the fourth quarter. I'm not going to put you guys through this. Uh, we're going to go in with the kick block. And he does miss the extra point, but I don't think that really matters. It is 23 nothing, And they're going to kick off, and then once we have possession of the ball again on offense, I am going to go to the start of the fourth quarter. Take for a touchback, yes. Okay. And the cool thing is you can see the uh, score play out as the fast-forwarding happens. Um, let's see here. We're going to go game. Um, auto play until 15 minutes left in the game. 23 nothing, 30 nothing, 33 nothing, 40 nothing, 47 nothing. So it's 47 nothing and we have the ball. Um, with 14 24 left in the game, basically the start of the fourth quarter or very close thereof. Let's go long to Pettis. So, yeah, I mean, there is no way I wanted to play that out. There is a penalty. And he completed it. Are you kidding me? Peterman completed it? it uh, yeah, if I can turn that down, I will definitely turn it down. Because we got, for one thing, we got 29 yards. Um, yeah, I'm going to decline that penalty. So let's see what he is on the day. Peterman is 16 of 27 now for 169 yards and three interceptions. So he got picked off again. 
in the interim. Um, let's go off tackle. This is with Ebner. Off tackle with the Ebner man. And he's going to get some good yards. Yeah, they saw Ebner in the backfield and they thought, oh, there's no way he's running. But he, well, he did and he got eight yards. Probably at this point, I'm guessing Montgomery is tired anyway. So with 13:31 left in the game, I'm going to go line buck with Ebner. I mean, you know, you didn't think he was going to happen last time, and this time is the penalty. I mean, we got the we got the first down, so I want to give these guys their you know their stats. So I would decline this one too, probably. Oh, but it was on us. We got a second and 12. I'm going to go looking pass to Claypool. And it is complete. The Peterman. I mean, if you take those interceptions out, statistically, he's having a great day. It's just the interceptions are killers. He is uh, 17 of 28, 179 yards. Let's go short pass to Claypool. And it's going to be a touchdown pass for Peterman to Claypool, and we're on the board. So it's a foregone conclusion here. We are going to finish with three wins, just like the real Bears did. So I was not able to get us any better than we did, which is not... Um, an indictment on my coaching ability, but it's also not um, its not a celebration of my coaching ability either. So we are kicking off. There is 12-19 left in the game. And we finally get him at the 27-yard line, looks like. So they got a first and 10 at their 27. I'm going to put in the balanced. Got the old balanced, and it, uh, well, I mean, there was a guy right there, but it was a completed pass. Four or five yards. So, you know, you're, you saw two quarters of the game, right? You know, if, if you watch to the end here. They run the ball. I had the run in. Did I have the run in? I don't know. So, anyway, it's, yeah, 47-7. to seven. We're just down by 40 points. If we had just scored 40 points here or there, we would have been 1107 left. I am going to look for the run. I mean, they really should be running the ball. They shouldn't be passing. They should be eating the clock. And we do get them relatively quickly there, maybe two yards, three yards. They always get a little more than I think they got. Joe Thomas making the play on that. Um, I am going to look for the run again. Now they're passing. Cousins is back. He's looking for an open receiver. Can we pick it off? No, but it's incomplete. And they're going to have a third and seven. Now I'm definitely going to put in a pass defense uh, on third and seven from our 48. And uh, I'm going to go pass and double team Jefferson. And there is a penalty on the play, and it was probably on us. And let's see if they even accept the penalty. They got 13 yards. They could get a little more, potentially. They got a first and 10 at the 35. I'm going to put in the pass. They are passing. And uh, we do stop them short of the first down, but only three yards short of it. They got seven yards on that. They're going to have a second and three coming up. With 9.38 left, I'm putting in the pass again. They do pass, surprisingly. They should have run the ball. They really should be running the ball. And the guy almost had an interception, but he overran the ball. And Cousins completed the pass for 10 yards. And I am going to look for the run. And they do run, and we do stop them quickly. Maybe a yard and two yards. I can never estimate it correctly. They got two yards there with Justin Jones. 
and they have a second and eight. I'm going to look for the run again. And they do run the ball, and we do stop them. And I'm going to guess run again because, you know, it's what they should be doing. Run and key on Madison. And I think they'll do it. I think they'll run it. No, they don't. And it is. It's a pass. Shocker. Color me shocked. So they got a uh, first down. This Bears defense in 2023 really was not good. I'm going to put in the balanced. And we do stop them at the two. This is the first time I've seen the balanced defense do even kind of good. Kind of well, you know. Usually it doesn't. Usually it's kind of like a you're not committing to anything, and so we're going to get you some yards. I put in the run defense, and they're they're passing, and probably to a no. It's incomplete. The guy was wide open, and Cousins couldn't hit him. So it's going to be third and goal. Third and goal. You got to guess run. If he passes it in, hey, more power to him. But I'm going to guess run. And he is going to pass. And this time it is complete for another touchdown. Wheel put in the kick block. And he doesn't quite get there. So it's going to be 54-7. to Now we had a game like this against the Lions where the Lions scored a lot of points, but we were hanging with them. We are not, however, hanging with Minnesota in this one. 54 to 7, 620 left in the game. And I am going to take it for a touchback. And we're going to go flat pass to Pettis. And that is a first down. By the way, uh, stick around after we will look at Chicago's overall statistics for everybody uh, for the entire 2023 season, since this is the last game of the season. Uh, we will go. We'll go short to the flanker. I mean, Peterman's having a day, except for, like I said, except for those interceptions. You take those out, and he's awesome. Oh no, that was Semyon. He puts Semyon in now. So Semyon is, uh, Semyon today is two for two for 25 yards. I guess Peterman had hit his limit since he, you know, can only play so much. We're going to go look in past to Claypool. We're moving the ball. And it is, com I think it's complete for five yards. Yes, it is a completion for five yards to Cameron Bynum. So we've got a second and five. Let's go line buck with Ebner. Ebner likes running the ball. He likes getting a little action, but he got stopped at the line right there. Uh, let's go flat pass to Komet. And it's incomplete. Semyon can't complete it. And that was third and five, so we have a decision to make. And we're at the Minnesota 45. I'll punt the ball. I mean, why make it look worse, right, than it has to? And I understand part of it was because I was going for fourth downs all the time, but that is going to be a touchback for the Vikings. But at least they have the ball on their end of the field, not our end of the field. We are going to put in the balanced defense. And they run the ball. And we do stop them pretty quickly, maybe three or four yards on that. Three yards. Hawkinson. Um, second and seven. Now I'm going, you know, I'm going to go run and key on Madison. Oh, he passes it. I should really know, with those guys, with that backfield alignment, he is not going to run the ball. 
All right. Um, I think he's going to run the ball now, though. We'll just put in a general run. No, he passes it. This guy is, he's kind of greedy. I mean, if I do say so myself, he wants even more points. He's winning 54-7, and he wants more. Um, first and 10 at the Minnesota 41. I am going to put in the pass. And he does pass, and it's complete, it looks like, but I stopped him behind the line. Yep. A loss of three yards on the pass. So, uh, and Mullins, they have Mullins in at quarterback, and he's 5 of 6 for 25 yards on a touchdown. That's how bad it is. I'm going to put in the pass, and he does pass, and uh, it doesn't help us. Mullins is killing us. So he's got a first and 10 at the Chicago 46. I'm going to put in the run. And he does run the ball, and we do stop him pretty quickly. And the uh, game is winding down now. He has, uh, he's still, still out of field goal range. He has a second and eight at the 44. And the game is over. So we will look at the statistics of not only this game... Uh, let's look at the statistics for this game. Um, the box score. Uh, Cousins was 18 of 25 for 177 yards and two touchdowns. Mullins was 6 of 7 for 41 yards and a touchdown. He had a better quarterback rating this game than Cousins did. Peterman was 18 of 29 for 189 yards, a touchdown and three interceptions. And Semyon was 3 of 4 for 30 yards. Then you've got running. Delvin Cook had 20 uh, attempts for 123 yards and two touchdowns. Alexander Madison had eight rushes for 41 yards. For us, Khalil Herbert uh, had 11 for 65. Montgomery rushed 10 times for 46. Uh, Treston Ebner rushed four times for nine yards, and Evans twice for three. And I'll let you just look at the receivers. I'm not going to go over the receivers name by name and line by line, but you can take a look and see what your favorite receiver in this particular game did. And we are done with that, and I'm going to close out of this. And so here we are. We will look at the Chicago stats overall. We were 3-14, and 14, which is what we really were. And let's look at us on the year. Fields was 191 for 359, 2,300 yards, 13 touchdowns and 9 interceptions. But he rushed 176 times for 1,089 yards, a 6.2 rushing average, and 8 touchdowns. Peterman was 20 of 34 for 204 yards, a touchdown, and three interceptions, and we saw all three interceptions. Trevor Simeon was 19 of 33, passing for 147 yards and two interceptions. Rushing the ball, uh, Montgomery 179 for 838 and five touchdowns. Um, Khalil Herbert 137 rushes for 734 yards and seven touchdowns. And then some, uh, you know, guys there. And then the receiving stats. Komet had 51 receptions this year for 481 yards and two touchdowns. Darnell Mooney caught the ball 40 times for um, 530 yards and uh, one touchdown. Dante Pettis caught the ball 33 times for 467 yards and three touchdowns. Claypool caught it 32 times for 323 yards and one touchdown. St. Brown caught it 21 times for 308 yards and uh, four touchdowns. And Montgomery caught it 25 times for 266 yards and one touchdown. And Santos was uh, zero of zero attempts uh, on field goals from one to 19 yards out. 
4 of 4 from 20 to 29, 14 of 14 from 30 to 39, and 9 of 11 from 40 to 49. So, um, and he was 25 of 28 on extra points. Punting, Gill had a 46.5 yard uh, punting average. And uh, that's all we're going to look at. And that is it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.